hey guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be making a yellow cake it's not from scratch it's out of the box but i'll be showing you the two methods that they have you can either do it with your mixer or a bowl and your whisk what you will need is one cup of water half cup of oil and three eggs we're going to add our cake mix to the bowl. We're going to add our oil and also our water. Then we're going to gradually add our eggs. You're going to add it one at a time. Now break your eggs in your container one at a time so that if an egg is bad, you won't have all your eggs in one container. So you want to mix until all the ingredients are combined and the batter is smooth. I already greased my baking pan and I lined it with um, parchment paper. So now that the batter is ready, I'm going to pour it in. Now you're going to add your batter to your cake pan. And after the batter is in your cake pan, you're just going to tap it lightly just to get all the ear bubbles out of the batter. That is it. Now we're going to move on to mixing our cake mix with our wire whisk. So the same procedure you're going to do with the wire whisk. You're going to add your cake mix to your mixing bowl. You're going to add your oil, your water, and your eggs. You're just not going to be using the mixer. Crack your eggs. One at a time. Oh, I'll look a piece of eggshell. So that's the reason why I cracked the eggs not in the mixture but in a separate bowl because just now I had a piece of eggshell and if I cracked it in the cake mixture the eggshell would I get inside the cake and you don't want that. Now go ahead and just mix your batter until it is smooth. Now add your mixture to your baking pan. Repeat the same process of knocking out the ear bubbles. Now I'm going to add them to the oven. The oven is already preheated to 350. So we're going to bake these for 25 to 30 minutes or until a toothpick is thick in the center and it is clean. Time to check our cakes. Alright, so from me take this one up, we can realize that it's still a little wet. So it's not ready. Even though it's cracked, but it's still that not ready yet. This one, I'm going to try. And this one, you can still see in the, a few more minutes. Let me actually check this. have been in here for 36 minutes and they're not ready so I'm gonna give them another five minutes and then check them again 
so i noticed something with the cakes this is the one that i mixed with the mixer and it kind of have a little rising to it like it rise up somewhat and then this is the one that i mixed by hand nice and flat i would say but you know you have a look at sink right there but nothing major I'm going to let these cool before I frost them. I am going to frost one of these cakes. The other one, I'm going to freeze it. But for this one, I'm going to remove it from the pan. And this is the one that I mixed in the mixer. So it has like a little hill. So I am going to level that off. Here. All right, so now we go level off our cake. So my phone died, so I wasn't able to show you guys while I was doing these rosettes on the cake. But this was my first time doing a cake like this, decorating a cake, I should say, and it did not turn out bad. Um, the next time I do a cake at home, I will show you guys how it came out. Once again, if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Bye.